and today I'm going to be talking about Devil May Cry. It's an animated series based upon the video game series of Devil May Cry, where it falls along Dante as he takes on multiple jobs to clear his debt because he's usually in debt. And you'll get like, it'll focus around mainly his uh, hilariousness of how he is and his uh, awesome and all around general character and how he performs his jobs. <laughs> starters, Dante, since he's the main character, he's it mainly involves around him. I mean, yet it feels kind of as though he doesn't have as many lines and it focuses around all the side characters that he's taking part in the missions for, or like what the missions evolve around these characters, but they're pretty much like non-important characters. Another side character that comes in to play is Patty. Patty is basically one of the first people in, out of his missions that ends up joining him in, throughout the series, well possibly the only person. And she's a little girl who's part of a rich family but yet is, was raised as an orphan in an orphanage to protect her from demons. Then you have Morrison who pretty much helps out in obtaining side jobs for Dante to clear up his debt. Along with that he also helps around repairing anything Dante breaks in his uh, job apartment or kind of place where his job is. Really well detailed. I thought that the art was pretty nice. The blood was very, very well done. Um, the, I like the detail they add to the faces. It kind of like, uh, gets, it kind of shows more towards the effect of like, him, like Helsing Ultimate where it adds like really good detail to their facial features. It's like in your normal classic anime. There isn't really nothing special besides like the really well detail. It's kind of like dark and bland somewhat, adding towards uh, a dreary effect to the artwork. For dub, I believe it was decent. Pretty good voice acting in there. I mean, it wasn't the worst dub. I mean, the characters were really well brought out. Side characters, I, I felt like it really weren't that big of a deal. Uh, we find the voice acting for Dante hilarious, um, also Morrison was pretty awesome, well the voice actor who played Morrison. Uh, the one that did Patty, you can find her voice acting also done in Ghost Stories and also Clinad and Clinad Sword. I give it an 8 out of 10 because um, pretty much I did enjoy it. It was very episodic, meaning that there really wasn't a plot that really unraveled a lot. Although the first uh, Patty in the first episode does become more of a big part in the last two episodes, because um, that's more towards her story of her missing mother. It's very episodic, very decent, very short, 12 episodes. You never get bored. Each story is kind of unique. There is some good comedy to it. There is some good action to it. And that's pretty much it. That is all.